In the 1960s, children could hardly wait for the official start of the Christmas season. That was the day the Christmas catalogs arrived in the mailbox. Once they arrived from Sears, J.C. Penney, and Montgomery Ward, it was open season on circling the toys we hoped Santa would bring. Kids and adults alike eagerly leafed through the pages of the toys, clothing, and other gifts offered within, making their wish list before passing the catalog on to another family member. Some of the popular toys that children wanted to find under the Christmas tree during the 1960s were things like an Etch-a-Sketch, a, a G.I. Joe doll, a Whammo Super Ball, or maybe even a Chatty Cathy doll or an Easy Bake Oven. Let's face it, it was a great time to be a kid, and waking up to find one of these toys made for an unforgettable Christmas. This decade offered some of the best Christmas specials to get you into the spirit of the season. Planning ahead to watch them was a must because they were broadcast one time during the season. Variety shows hosted by Dean Martin, Bing Crosby, and Andy Williams were some of the most entertaining as the singers gave us a glimpse into their own families while singing some of the most cherished Christmas songs of all time. The 1960s introduced us to many animated shows that would become an annual tradition in homes across America. During the month of December, kids would eagerly listen for announcements on television to find out when the holiday specials would air. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which aired in 1964, is one of the most popular, and the stop-motion presentation makes it a favorite even today. Two animated classics from the mid-1960s, A Charlie Brown Christmas and How the Grinch Stole Christmas, are also among the earliest and most enduring of the Christmas specials developed for television. Within their engaging storylines, these shows carried a message about the growing commercialization of the holiday, and they reminded them that Christmas was about more than just getting presents. What would Christmas time be in the 1960s without the Christmas music heard on the home stereo or over speakers in the department stores? A flood of Christmas albums were released from singers like Andy Williams, Perry Como, Johnny Mathis, Brenda Lee, and Elvis Presley, who all recorded their own versions of old favorites and new holiday hits. Between decorating the Christmas tree and opening presents on Christmas morning, traditions like sending Christmas cards, baking cookies, and taking family photos filled the time leading up to the big day. For many of us, these moments with family are some of the most cherished. Some of the traditions that began in the 1960s are ones you may continue today because it reminds you of that special time in your life when the magic of Christmas really was magical. If you have your own memories or traditions of Christmas, I would love for you to share them in the comments. Please enjoy this remaining photo album from the past of Christmas during the 1960s.